What's up, ballers? This is Kim Che. And Tofu. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going into Kuroko's basketball episode number 6566. Now we're going into the Teiko arc, middle school arc. We're going to uh, the backstory of Kuroko and how the Generation of Miracles started. On the last episode, now we're starting to see the, the sudden shift of how the Generation of Miracle are starting to... Well, I mean, like, you know, Aomine. We saw how his whole, the only one who can beat me is me, came from was that he was looking for forward to going against a certain player that he was looking forward to, right? Yes. But, um... He just got too good. Yeah, he just got too good. That guy gave up, and it was because of him that started this whole thing, so... Um, yeah. That remember. was his breaking point. <laughs> yep, remember my tattoo. The only one who can beat kimchi is spiciness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but alright guys, we're going into Kuroko's Basketball 65-66. We are no longer. That's the one. So, Tofu, are you ready? I'm ready. You guys ready? Alright, let's go start the show. Takeo against Kamata West. They sound pretty good. <laughs> oh, this is a oh, this is a championship game. Oh, ah. God, the second year in a row. Let's see who uh, MVP is. <laughs> <laughs> These guys like finals is nothing for them. Just like ah, I don't feel anything. Mm -mm. Winning. Yep. Oh so wait. Oh for Almina. Leave Almina alone. Damn man, freaking Almina's face, dude. This is where he lost it. Oh wait, tickles down. What? Oh, the coach know, knew he would feel this way? Dang. Mm. Oh, the music's coming out. So this is what kept him pushing forward. Yeah, it's the coach. <laughs> Look at all me, the freaking just zooming. Dude, 93 46. That was fast. <laughs> now you can have snacks, Buddha Sakibara. <laughs> Midoriya just... wants snacks too? What? Ah. Uh... Whoa, the third years quit. <laughs> yeah, because they can't even play. <laughs> Even the coach realized they were too strong. Sounds like the coach is sick. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. Really sick. He's really sick. Oh, and he can't coach anymore. Dude, that was his last words with Aumine. Oh my god. So this is why they are no longer no more. It's this guy. Oh, what? What is he doing? <laughs> Thor's hammer from the free throw line? <laughs> he threw them all down. Damn, the team's falling apart here. Oh, yeah. dude. No control. I love at least Kisei's so, He's so positive innocent. about it. <laughs> He's so innocent of all this. <laughs> I just feel so powerful. <laughs> oh, oh, this is where he practices his full core shots. Boom! He realizes his strength now too. I am strong as well. Wait, so is it the principal what? that messed everything up? What the heck is a uh, special treatment? What? Making them play every single game, even though they're first years. Damn, these guys haven't talked since then. Dang. Damn. Wow, he lives so lavishly. Yeah, look at this guy's. This guy's so rich. Wow. <laughs> Oh, this guy's got a lot of pressure on him, too. Yeah. Damn. 
Damn. Head coach is in a bad situation. So this is how he doesn't come to, oh, he doesn't practice and he just shows up for games. Now everything is making sense now, guys. Yeah. Such a dark episode for Aumine. Mm-hmm. Or actually for everybody, too. Head coach shouldn't have told him that. Oh man. Which is true. The whole talk with him and Momoi, everything together. Ugh. Not gonna happen. Oh my god, look at his eyes. <gasps> How many hates everything? You can feel the pain. Yeah, of course, Murasaki Bara will say that too. Oh, this is where he doesn't need to listen to Akashi Senpai anymore. <laughs> Man, I wonder what it is for those two playing against each other. Oh my god, we're gonna see Akashi and Murasaki Bara one by one? Well, one by one, one on one? <laughs> Oh. One on one. Oh shoot! We gonna see this bad, but I'm curious. Damn. Oh what? Four zero? Oh. Oh. And I think this is where he breaks him. Oh, what the heck is this music? Ooh. Dude, I think this is the part where he awakens Emperor Eyes. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, here it is! Bam! It's awakened. Yep. This is where Akashi's two sides comes out. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an ankle break. Yep. <laughs> Damn, stay on the floor. Well, he beat him. <laughs> and, yep, and he comes to practice tomorrow. So now Akashi changed too. Everyone here. Damn, look at his eyes, too. Yep. Oh. <laughs> yep. The epic music. Oh, wait. He knows that he wants to go talk to Aomine. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> yeah, and it started off with him. Yep. Damn. So Murasaki Bara really did stop going to practice too. Yep. At least two people realize it. Which now makes sense why Kuroko was able to get to these two first on the friendship and oh, realizing yeah. teamwork and all of that. Yeah, I'm just got straight up telling him not to sh practice shooting anymore. Do I need to like basketball to win? Damn, others simply took over. 
So he realizes it too. At least he's straight up about it. Yeah, it's Akashi. Oh, dude, the right, yeah, the right was are within the team. <laughs> Akashi is very logical, but it's not good. What do you mean, like, logical? Like, he's just, like, too absolute. Yes. Damn. Mm. All right, this episode like makes everything clear how um, Akashi became Akashi. <laughs> Murasaki Bara is the one that freaking unlocked the or had his other Akashi take over. Yeah, the second freaking Murasaki Bara, dude. <laughs> now we see Generation Miracle how it truly became like this. So the head after the head coach left or he got really ill, mm. then that's where we start seeing the team start to fall apart. Yes. Right? And they're starting to know their talents are evolving. They're getting better. And they realize that, like what Akashi says, the rivals, they're not within the outside of the team. This is like basically civil war. It, it, this is all within the team. Mm -hmm. And they're all just saying, like, what's the point of working together or something? It's like, this is why I, now I see probably why everyone decided to split schools. Because yes. they don't want to work, they don't they don't want this anymore. Now I see like why Kuroko from the way beginning he was fighting about like this is about teamwork, it's about ball play because he misses the time all the way back before the second national was that that team, the group, the, the connection that uh Teiko had before all of this broke. And yes. that's what he's trying to fight for that he misses. What Akashi says kind of does make sense though, because if he forces them forces them all to work together as a team, it's just going to break the team, and they're all going to not play at all. So that's why he's saying, you know, just let everybody split off, do their own thing. As long as we win, we win, just to keep the team together. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that's what he's saying. But yeah. for Akashi, for him, it's only it's only about winning. Yes, it's that's only it. about winning. And the reason for that is because of... His family. His family. We see the conversation with his dad, and it's like he's supposed to excel at everything. So the way he thinks is like he has to excel, win, be the top of class, be the top at everything he does. Yes, and I think that's where his second personality is, is because of the pressure of yeah. that. Yeah, we see his uh, good personality when he's with the kids, when he's with his friends. And we see the other Akashi that's the one that's like Made kinda, by his family. Yeah, his kinda under his dad's spell or something. Yes. And um that's where Murasaki Bada unlocks his emperor eyes, right? That's yeah. where his emperor eyes gets unlocked. And but his second personality coming out and just taking over. Mm-hmm. They completely took over. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why we never see uh Akashi's other side anymore. It's the only Akashi we see is this Akashi. Uh the new Akashi. But I feel like, dude, it's going to be crazy because once Satan does go against uh, Rakuzan, yes. and once I feel like Kuroko defeats Akashi, then we're going to be seeing the old Akashi come back and maybe the new Akashi that is right now is going to be completely gone. Yeah. Like he's going to kill that Akashi and revive the old one. I agree with you because yeah. he has to be defeated because he has this mindset of only winning, but once... He's that mindset is broken because he's lost. That's his first loss. Then he's got to change some things. That's yeah, where well, the change comes back. Yeah, well, he's never lost anything. He's never yes. lost before. Yeah. Right? That, Whether it's his Teiko or Lakuzan, he's yep. never lost before. Yep. So it's always the same thing. But then when Kuroko comes in and, you know, he changes all of that, and it's like, dude, remember, I feel like there's still that little Akashi that's still alive. Yes. The good Akashi is still alive in here is still it's hiding. burning fire it's still the fire is still burnt it's not burnt out yet but it's still there mm -hmm. and i think kuroko is going to be the one that that revives that burning fire it's yes. that youth you know mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah man dude this was a pretty dark eerie episode of how just seeing the whole uh takeo middle school just split apart because when we first saw saw this 
it was nice to see Taiko just getting along well. They were just everyone. It just felt like a solid, great group of friends. Yeah. And for all of that to just break and like almost instantly after the nationals, everything just went downhill. Coach gets sick. Akashi becomes this super Akashi. <laughs> Amine right? really breaks off of the team, doesn't go to practice. Murasaki Bara doesn't go to practice anymore either. Yeah, dude. Like, everything is just broken up. So, yes. yeah. Man, damn. It, they had such a good chemistry and good team. Mm -hmm. Group of friends. All right, we'll go to the next one. <gasps> 151 to 12? That's insane. What? How, how's that even possible? Oh, dude, it's just like that scene where it's like all of them, and then now you only see one person walking. Mm -hmm. Breaks. Ah, oh, it's breaking my boy's heart. <laughs> Freaking three floor, one oh nine to five. What Jeez. the heck? Oh, they're talking about the uncrowned kings. Oh, the uncrowned kings, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what was that kind of face was that for Kisei? <laughs> oh, Kisei. So crazy how it's like they're not competing against the other team, they're just competing against with each themselves. other. Damn. Oh. Oh, are we back to present? Oh, no, no, no. That's. Oh. oh. Yeah, that's right, because they're in uh, Satan. Satan's their upperclassmen, that's why. Oh, yeah. And they never realized Kuroko, that's the funny part. Yeah. <laughs> that's the original Satan starting starting uh, five. Oh, he picked up Team Captain's book. Is this why he wanted to join the team? Because he sees the Iron Heart, he sees the team play, he sees he the, sees team, the team, team in Satan. Play. Yeah. Look at them cheering each other on. That's why this guy chose Satan. Yep, the love of the game. <laughs> yeah, they don't look like middle schoolers, dude. You guys look like actual freaking MBAs. Uh huh. Oh no. Oh no. Not to your friend. Ah, they win. One by one point. Yep. Oh my god, and they're in the finals. Again. Oh, oh no. shoot. And this is where we see the breaking point for him. Wow, this guy wants to start against his friend. Oh, wait, hold on. Not yet. Okay. What? Did he did he do that on purpose? I, I don't know, but he, this guy looks injured. Wow, you know the halftime, the the middle part? Now it shows them in a different team. Oh. Oh no, Akashi got to him. Damn, freaking Kuroko's out. Wow, saying the same thing as Kuroko. Yeah. Mitsuko. 
Oh, so th it was an accident. He didn't mean to. Damn. They're going to destroy them. Yeah. They're tired of competing for points. Yeah. What's the score? Oh, oh they're God. playing with them! Oh, shoot! Wow. They're so disrespectful. Oh, my God. 111 to 9. And they're just playing with them, too. Oh, you better not block a shot, man. Come on. In, in, in. Oh, he missed. Oh, and I'll mean I just let him pass. Oh, oh my gosh. No! Oh, oh that's what? what broke. Oh my god, that's why he stopped. Oh my god. Wow. Because <laughs> they wanted oh, to no. do it one, one, one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Whoa, look at this. Why just oh. this game? Oh. Oh my god. He's quitting, yeah. Not quitting the team, quitting basketball. basketball. No, he's going to his friend's school. Oh, don't tell me his best friend quit. Yep. He said he did. He transferred oh. school, dude. Oh. They both felt the same way, though, but in a different way. Damn. They noticed the difference. Oh! So he believes in his friend. That's why he always pushes it. Yeah. He's fighting for his friend. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Even though it's like that, they no no one thought even about even joining each other's school. Akashi, absolute. Yep. Well, yep. Akashi knew that T Kuroko was going to. And is this where he walks into Satan? Ah! Yeah. Woo! Damn! Oh. Oh, yeah, so we're back to, yeah, back here. <laughs> you should have hit him. <laughs> <Ja>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're dominating the car. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Dude. Oh, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ooh. 
What didn't he tell him? Oh, his answer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He has his answer. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, my God. What it's coming. Rakusan is sated. Mm-hmm. Wow. Damn. All right. So, dude, I, I really, really, really enjoyed uh, Takeo's arc. Me too. This little four episodes that we had with the flashbacks. So now we're understanding everything. I thought we understand that from the last two episodes, but now from the last episode, but now we understand everything. And now I see why, like when Kuroko saw Kagami and he's, it's like his new light. And remember the episodes where Kuroko was like, dude, I don't want you becoming like them. Like you're, yeah. you are, you're really good. You're very talented, but you know, I don't want you becoming like them. That was actually a big crucial moment at that point. Yes, because he was about to quit. Yeah, so what, what do you mean? Oh, wait. No, him and Kagami. Oh, yeah, Kagami. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, Kagami. I'm talking about Kagami. When Kagami was getting too good and he was starting to become uh, like the... Yes. yes. Uh, that was actually a big, big moment. That's why Kuroko, it hurt him more. And that's the reason why he joined Satan was because he saw that, you know, Satan had a lot of love and passion in it. Mm -hmm. And um, it's almost like fate, you know? It's like, how the hell did Hyuga all of a sudden just drop his drops his pass, you know? Yeah. It's like, that guy would probably be the last person in the freaking team that would do that, but it's like fate. Yes. It's like, you belong here. And what's crazy is what Akashi says is that when they were in graduation, they were in the basketball court, he was saying, we all pick a different team and we're here to eliminate everyone else. It's so crazy because it's like Akashi is here to eliminate everyone else and Kuroko is here to save everyone else. Yes. You know? So it's like, it's just basically a story between Akashi versus Kuroko. Almost. Yeah. Because it's like, Akashi's in that extreme of the real villain because he has his own way, and his way is only absolute. It's only the right way. It's like very black and white. Yes. Whereas Kuroko, he thinks of something else, and we see in the last part of the episode, it's like, he's going to do it his way, mm -hmm. and Akashi does it his, his way. way. Yeah. It's so, like passion versus winning and victory. Yeah, just victory, and um, it's just this whole, the the players in this team, it's crazy how it's just like, they were so good with each other, such close friends, just one game, and, uh, you know, just all of this could just crush them, like, literally crush them. Yes. And the moment when we saw, like, Momoi talking with Kuroko, and she just has that flashback of how they saw the full Generation Miracle just walking together, and then, like, on the present day, it was just only Kuroko walking by himself because Kuroko is the only one out of everyone that still had the same vision as before and now and yes. hasn't changed. Yes, because everyone left. Yeah, and everyone changed, you yeah. know? So Kuroko is like, man, that was pretty painful, too, to see Kuroko just feel so much hurt from all this. And, you know, just like the his best friend and his friend says, was saying, like, Kuroko, his eyes are the only one that have warmth in it. Yeah, that are the same as everybody else's, but it's not like Teiko. Yeah. There's no coldness to it. Yeah. You're going to be the one to defeat them, so you have to keep playing. Yep. And this match is basically... Uh, it. It's a personal match that needs to be squashed since, like... Uh, middle school. Middle school. So I hope I hope his friend... I hope Kuroko's friend watches this game. Dishige will, will be there. You he think will so? be there, yeah. I feel like he will be there. He has to be there. You know, I think so he will too. be there because uh, right now, Kuroko, he saved all the Generation of Miracles right now. Yes. Except, except for Akashi. Yeah, that's yeah. the last one. The last one. Yup. And then, like I said, we're going to be seeing the good Akashi again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Across our fingers. Yeah. It's so crazy how just like seeing Kise, Kise is always just like, uh, you know. So he's like, oh, I'm going to be, that's my basket he's yeah. always trying to get better he's always trying to improve and uh yeah it's like kisei and midoriya didn't really change too much but they did separate from the team because they had their own way of playing too yeah and that's why they were like i was saying earlier during the episode that's why they were so they were the first ones to come back to kuroko and kind of um realize what he was saying is true and be able to work as a team with their own team and feel that love and passion. Who, Midoriya? Midoriya and yeah. Kise? Uh, Kise. Yeah, Kise, yeah. 
Was this like, they weren't the extreme. No, it was Aumine, Murasaki Bara, yeah. and Akashi. Yeah, they were more of the extremes, whereas uh, Midori and Kiza, you know, were they, they were not, but, you know. They were like middle. Yeah, they're just in the middle, and they're just going as it goes. Yes. They're just playing as it goes, and that was it. But then, you know, I, I, I feel like both of them, deep down inside, that's why you're right. When we do see, like, Fukuda and Kaijo, we see Kise and Midoriya really, really focus on, like, oh, this is my cool. team. Like, this is our team. Yeah. You know, that's where we see that, too. So, um, man, dude, I can't believe they freaking toyed around with them just because they wanted 1-1-1-1-1. One, 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 one. Oh, yeah, my God. Mako, I didn't even think about that. I felt so bad. That was just... that. I felt the pain, too, during that episode. Wow. Or during that part. That was the finals. Did you see their face before? On the semifinals, they were so excited. They won for the buzzer beater. Yeah. And then just to go on to the next one. It's like, I'd rather lose on the semifinals than go on the finals and be destroyed like that. Yeah. Damn, that was savage. So hard that it made him quit basketball and transfer school. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But... Now, after all of this and seeing Kagami, it's like, dude, I could kind of see. It's weird because Kagami wasn't in the last four episodes, but it kind of reminds me and appreciate the character of Kagami up to this point of how he was working so well with the team, no matter yes. how talented he was. Yes. Kind of makes me appreciate Kagami. Yeah, Kagami is good. But at the same time, it's not like Satan destroyed every single team. <laughs> no, yeah, okay. it's always a close game. It's always been a close game, so, but you know. It was a good game. Each game was very good. They did their best. They were very passionate about it, and they did very good teamwork. Let's have Kagami, like, win by 90 points or 100 points. Let's see how he turns out, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's because of Kuroko. I, I don't know. It's all fake, right? Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, I really enjoyed the Takeo Middle School arc, but uh, that was it. I, we are going to the last couple videos for Kuroko. Kuroko. Yeah, Satan versus Rakuzan. We made it to the final boss. The yes. villain is here. Ah, So guys, thank you guys so much. We'll see you guys soon for episode number 67 68. Rakuzan Satan is right around the corner. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day and we'll see you guys next time. Yes, we'll see you guys. Bye! Bye.